in this session let's install sql developer so let's go to oracle.com here go to menu go to downloads and then go to developer tools here let's click on sql developer and here we got various versions if you have a windows 64 bit operating system then it's better to download this version this version already has the java included in that if you download this you need not install any java software but if you have a windows 32 bit operating system then you need to download this this particular version works both for 32 bit and 64 bit the only problem is it doesn't have any java software we need to install java software and then link to this since most of the users have 32 bit operating system let me download this remember this also works for 64 bit since my desktop is a 64 bit operating system i'm clicking on this link so click download and then the download has started and again depending upon your speed of your internet connection it may take 5 to 10 minutes to download the download has completed now click on the file and since i have a 7 zip installed on my system i am using that zipping utility if you are using winrar or some other utility you can use them and i just say extract and it is asking me where to extract so i am just saving it on my desktop and click okay so now it is extracting all the content the extraction has been completed close your 7-zip go to your desktop and you see a folder called sql developer okay click on that folder and you'll see an exe file called sql developer so now let's open sql developer okay so mine uh, because i previously installed my sql developer it did not ask for any java path but if you are configuring oracle sql developer for the first time it asks for the path of the java where we installed you remember in the last session we installed java in a folder all you have to do is just give that path name and oracle sql developer will open okay now let's connect to the database go to the connections and click plus and let me create it let me call it as my connection and the username is system you remember system and sys were the only two users which were created when installing oracle and we will give the password and click connect see it is connected okay so now let's test the connection and x okay now we are connected to the database it was simple right okay in the next session i'll help you in creating a new user called inventory and i will make sure we run all the scripts necessary for this course